matchups that Chaka was in the whole way he played. Specific to this map is we have these trebuchets, which um, you're able to unleash and actually reconstruct by a destructible environment. We're able to reconstruct the uh, actual landscape of the map. Boom, the clock tower blows up. All of a sudden, see this rafter out here? We now have access into the middle of that control point, which wasn't there before when those walls were up. We're also used, able to use the trebuchets. Again, there's a little bit of skill involved in this, but notice how he, he holds it down. That determines the distance and the fires. Uh, if there's control points, he's able to see with that trebuchet, and if he's able to get it just right, uh, if the other team's holding that control point, you can actually hit them and do some pretty significant damage on them with their control points. So this becomes a very important feature on the map to, uh, you know, where you need to think about. Am I going to dedicate somebody to manning that trebuchet? Am I going to dedicate somebody to taking out the trebuchet on the other side? Uh, how am I going to organize people to go and take over control points? So this destructible environment and the change in the path that goes actually, uh, there's actually like an example in here where you take out a, a pipe, uh, blow up the pipe, this is kind of cool, taking out windows. Uh, when you take out those windows, you're able to kind of jump in and surprise what was going on in here. Uh, or it takes out cover that the other side might have had before. You can't see it. This is another map where, again, uh, we talked about the, the uh, z-axis of the water. Uh, there's, there's definitely a component to flying across the top of walls and on, on top of uh, rafters and things. Uh, anyway, destructible items all over this environment, which, again, can really dramatically impact what's going on. It, when we take over the control points, it's obviously going to start racking up our counter and our points where actually everybody's fighting to get to 500 points in this particular counter. We all, everybody comes into our PvP, these, these 
these 5 on 5 or 10 on 10 competitive PvP matches, they come into it with a level playing field. Everybody has access to a top level character, all the skills that they want. You're able to choose out all your skills on the right side, exactly the way you want to set your player up. Um, you have that level playing field to make it very skill based. Which is very different from our world. We have world v world PvP as well. And it's very different from that. In world v world, that picks your server up against two other servers. And it, it, it can go on for a over a period of time where you've got epic battles going on. But you bring your actual character into world v world, and you can actually level up through that. If you wanted to, you could actually level up your character completely just by playing world v world PvP. orientation around that as well. We've got cool skills that, uh, uh, that was what, what's that one exactly called? Uh, Ride the Lightning. We also have a, a teleportation skill we're able to, to use to jump up and uh, surprise people. Um, yeah. Any questions about PvP? I really encourage you guys to go, go try it or at least check out the ESL match. Matthew, do you happen to know what time the uh, ESL match is? Uh, you mean the one with Moon Control? Yes. I don't know. I so we've got, we've got um, essentially a, a team of our arena PvP designers uh, down there that's taking on um, a guild, a European guild, um, that's, kind of, that's really gotten into it. And so they're just going to throw up in some battles in front of a huge audience over there. It should be very cool. Thank you guys very much for coming by. Really appreciate it. And enjoy the rest of Gamescom. Thank you. So actually, well, one more question for you guys. So now, what's, the, what's your favorite game you've seen at Gamescom? <laughs> Before the video. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Can I ask you? Yeah. Um, when did you add this participation? Uh, the last percussion? Yeah. Um, we haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't announced it yet. We don't know our time. Yeah, we're, not talk, we're not talking about our time yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any plans about maybe, uh, you know, like Heroes 1, uh, Emote PvP? Uh, like Tiger, Worms, Dragon, Fate? I'm sorry, but what about it? Oh. Do you mean Mountain Dragon? Yeah, yeah. like Heroes 1, Emote PvP. Like, uh, you know, Heroes Essence? Um, you can win some points, okay? Oh, and then you can you can you can pay the chat like slash wrong. You can you know, war. You're unlocking you're unlocking certain votes that yeah. the characters able to use based upon success with PvP. But we're gonna have, I mean we'll have all sorts of cool rewards that are specific to PvP. There's definitely definitely things that you'll end up getting for rewarding points and using them for various cosmetic upgrades. Yeah. I you know I don't know specifically if uh, we've got that targeted, but I, it's definitely in our in our back pocket. It's in our repertoire too. I don't know the specifics around it. Okay. Yeah. Okay.